so today like uh, we'll discuss about the concept called as a moment types okay so yesterday we seen uh, one of the moment types called as a 101 so that is like generally we use it to uh, take the stocks into our inventory okay, okay. so what is mean by moment type what is mean by moment type so it is like one of the control function control function for the inventory so this will uh, indicate like uh, the mm, this will indicate that the stock transfer from one location to another location goods issue like a uh, location to uh, outside or incoming stocks outgoing stocks okay scrapping so whatever it may be the movement of the material can be controlled by the movement types okay? okay so in the standard system we have around 300 plus uh, movement types available in the system okay and uh, based on that uh, we are using okay so these movement types are some standards is there so it's not required to you need to create the movement types okay but sometimes uh, we need to enhance okay so if business required anything and uh, if we want to create something new so uh, we can create uh, that one okay this is august user august 50 yeah. right? 52 4 2 6 1 2 3 okay so where is that configuration will be there spro uh, reference imc material management inventory. inventory management and fiscal inventory moment types. okay so here you can see copy change your moment types over here uh, here you need to select this moment type okay so here you can see from name to to name so here already there is a 300 plus moment type system so if you want to create a new moment type, so generally if you want to go ahead for the some uh, basic level customization a basic level customization uh, then um, so not basic level so if you want to do the some uh, um, that kind of customization can be happen like uh, um, uh, apart from the standardization see some some things will be happen like you cannot control it way but uh, it will be uh, handled okay so in that cases what will happen uh, so we need to do the some enhancements okay so generally 99% uh, we won't create the new moment types but in that one case like where the business required uh, um, some ex uh, some uh, enhanced functionality so at that time what we will do uh, so what is the functionality then first uh, so we will understand that one and we will copy from uh, that related to the moment type and we'll create a new moment type okay it is not like that directly new entry you can see here there is no new interest available here. Okay, so what you need to do is you just, you need to copy and create something new and you need to maintain. Okay. Okay, so that way we are using. So here, it will take a lot of time if I copy one moment up. So what I'll do, I'll copy 561. Okay, select this one. So click on copy. So everything will be now copied like, a, so here it will ask what is a new moment up. So I'll make it as a Z61. Okay. Okay. Turn enter. So it will take uh, generally a lot of time. Sir, 300 is default, right? Mm -hmm. This, sir. Uh, uh, no, no. The, uh, that before page, you copied from. Oh, 561. Yeah. So it's default, right? Oh, 561 is a standard default. Yeah. All the moment steps should be default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So whatever we uh, do, this cover mm -hmm. all the moment types. Suppose if you need anything needed, you can create some other new. Some other new. Okay. okay. So generally, this standard is there already. Okay. okay. So you want to bifurcate a standard and you want to create something extra the time only we will go for this one otherwise you won't create 
And once you do this one, you need to do the lot of configuration in the backend. I will tell you. So there is a concept called as accounting determination. There uh, you can see um, uh, like how this movement types will be linked to that particular thing. Okay. Okay. So next is a GR without PO. Okay, the concept is uh, now I want to take the goods is it. I am not created any parts other, but I want to take it as a goods is it. Okay. So how we'll do? Me go. Okay. So here we need to take the goods is it. So here we need to maintain as a other. Okay. So click on entry. Okay. Board. So you know, right? This MM sixty. Yeah. Display. East. Click on button and just check it. So now you see, um, there is one more issue GOB is not there. So, where we'll do this one? Go to OBYC. Okay, so what is that uh, issue? GOB. Okay, come down. Generally, this offsetting interest will be there in the ZBP. We'll see. Here it is there. Uh, so here it is. Uh, okay. Let's select this one. Click on copy. Uh, what is this one? Evaluation classes. Zero dot code. So here you can define anything. 3,000, 5,000. That guy is defined 0, 0.0. Okay. Yeah. So click on enter and so. Okay, okay, click on check. Okay, I think we need to come back. Or what we'll do, we'll enter one more thing. Okay, now it's okay. Okay, then so before doing that one, so we need to see the stock. So always in the middle moment type, what you need to consider, you need to consider stock moment where it is at the stock. Yeah. Yeah. So you now it is a 10. Okay, okay. Now what we'll do? Check and post. Okay, now material document is done and you refresh this one. Okay, now the stock is increases. Okay, so here again you need to see the accounting entries. Display, enter, click on this one, click on F5. Okay, so what is accounting entries? See now inventory is uh, debit, consumption is uh, credit. Okay, so this is, will be happen if you want to do the without uh, PO. Okay, 
So without view also, you can take the stock into our consideration. Okay. So next we will see the scenario um, where we want to create an automatic view. JR uh, without PO. What is the moment type? 501. And fourth one is automatic PO. Automatic PO. Okay. So generally, how these things will be handled like automatic PO creation? Okay. No, so business want to don't want to create any purchase order manually. They want to uh, convert uh, like uh, the requisition into order automatically in the backend. Okay, so in that cases, like we need to follow some configurations. Okay, so what is that one? So first one is if you want to create an automatic PO. Okay, in the material master record. Okay, there is a button called as a auto indicator, auto PO. So this we need to tick. Okay. Okay. Second one is in vendor master. In vendor master. Okay. Uh, so the auto PO indicator will be there. Auto PO creation. That also we need to tick. Okay. Then in the configuration, like um, in the configuration, like uh, Material management, inventory management, okay. Go to the seat, okay. So create a PO automatically, automatically. <clears throat> so here, the moment types like one zero one generally we will take uh, with a reference to goods seat and one sixty one is uh, returns. I mean reversal. Okay, so these movement types we need to make it as a marker. Okay, that thing, and the fourth thing is um, that is called as a enjoy transactions. Okay, so inventory management, enjoy uh, settings for enjoy transactions. So it's a settings for enjoy transactions here. So for 101 movement type and a LIFNR, which is a vendor. So for this, we need to make it as a optional. Optional entry. Okay, so these are the four configurations we need to consider. And um, uh, like uh, we need to create the PO. Okay, so first uh, automatically, so without having anything like we can create the PO in the two ways. Okay, from the PR, you can create automatically PO and um, or directly when you're doing the GR, automatically the PO need to create. So for the both uh, scenarios, we need to do this configuration. Okay, so we'll see in the system like I'm mean, zero two. Okay. What is the plant board? Sorry, this is so Okay, so there is an indicator, auto PO indicator. You need to make it as a select. Okay, so the, this is the first setting.
okay so next uh, what is our uh, bp okay so click on exit this window only we are doing right order creation yeah so double select this one okay go to the role flv flv n00 so click on enter flv n01 okay okay so go to the purchasing okay so here there is one more configuration called as a so there is indicator called as a auto this configuration we need to do okay so two configurations we need to do then you need to go to spro reference img um, material management purchasing inventory management goods is it so create po automatically this is a configuration so this is 101 and 161 the basically this configuration is already there so we not required to uh, anything new it's already existing configuration just we need to ensure whether it is there or not so generally once uh, everything is done if the configuration is not there it won't create pivot so that's why what we'll do we will ensure this configuration is there or not is one of the configuration the next one is spro reference img mm, reference img material management okay inventory management mm. Settings for goods movement. Mm, next is a field of movement for movement types. Okay. So for this one, so you know 101. So it is it should be optional entry, not a mandatory. Okay, so we need to remove okay. this one. You need to maintain optional entry. Okay. You concept. Now this is a configuration we need to perform. Okay. Now what we'll do, we'll create directly Miko. Okay, so what is the thing? Go to the seat, R010, and here the moment I will change that's a 101. Okay, so here I'm making one. Okay, so partner is nothing. So here you need to give right. So vendor is 370 so maintain and click on check mm. now we need to see some configuration with some issue supplier has not been created for the purchase organization 1810 can you check why this error is coming 
From beginning itself. No, no. So where is maybe the configuration? Can you guess it? Or that one eight one zero from beginning. Mm. Mm. So maybe the configuration due to that we are getting this one. No one eight one is a link to Ford. Actually, it should not write. This is one configuration. Next, uh, another configuration. Okay, it is not there. So, yeah, also it won't there. Mm. Now it should not come. Let's see. In Real Master, we are not maintaining any purchasing group. So we need to maintain that as well. And zero to so generally the whatever the material contents that all need to maintain. Okay, then uncheck. So there is no issues now. Okay, then click on post. So now you see the back end system will create a purchase order. Once it is created, click on the display. Okay, come to the purchase order. Now you see it is created automatically the PO. Okay, so this is a configuration like uh, without having anything. So you can create in the back end the purchase order. So when you are doing the GR, so you need to create the purchase order automatically. You got, got this scenario, like business, business is not given any order and they want to create a 
uh, while doing the GR itself. The purchase order should be created back end in the system. You will get a lot of uh, things. At that time, I mean, for us, like difficult. No one used to tell the project how it can be happen. Okay. Just to, they used to tell what they know. Because all the guys is don't know anything. Like uh, even though I'm, I'm like working on some SAP, I mean, so all business, they don't use anything, right? So yes. what they use is uh, they what they know is. Correct. And our at that time, servers also not working. So like one server will work, one server won't work. That yeah. kind of situations. Okay, so this is uh, how the scenario like a uh, create a PO um, automatically while doing the GR. Okay. Doing the GR. Okay.